uh, good Wednesday morning to you, YouTube. I am here, as promised, working on the heat kit condenser checker. And I think I have made a decision. Um, you know, you guys uh, know me well enough to know that uh, I change my mind a lot. And uh, since I came up with this little project for the uh, VTVM, and I really, really like where that's headed, I think what I'm going to do is pretty much the same thing on this. I already have most of the new parts for it, thanks to Robert. And, uh, like I said, it, this is a pretty simple unit. I'll turn it up on end. It's not really a lot to it. And you can see, look up here, a couple caps, a couple more caps, another cap. Uh, I'll have replacements for all those, I think. Uh, the this here. controls, take them out, clean them. Resistors will have new ones. Um, the only thing I have to do is put the uh, socket back in, you know, things like that. Put put those back in. But I think it's uh, I think it's a worthwhile project, at least to me. If you're gonna if you're gonna uh, try to restore something like this, to restore it, and that includes cleaning because you can see this is this thing is filthy. I mean, it's dirty, dirty, dirty. And uh, like I said, the this part of it is uh, another rotor switch, and we have some components here. Like I said, it's not really that bad. It, it should be easy, easy, easy to do. Uh, again, that allows me to clean up the front of it really nice, and uh, I think that's the way to go on this. So what I'm going to do is kind of take this thing apart and uh, you guys saw me do this with the IM13 and this is going to be pretty much the same. I'm going to take a lot more pains with this one because I don't know exactly how far I'm going to go with it. I don't know that I'll go all the way like I did with the uh, BTVM. But uh, anyway, so settle in there and we will uh, come back and see what we're doing. Alright, I think the first order of business is going to be removing the faceplate. This deal here from the actual chassis and uh, so that uh, we can get this, this cleaned up. And uh, I already have the knobs off. They came off with no problems. I have my uh, little adjustable wrench to hopefully take off or loosen these up at least. Let's see, this one may be a wrong size, but I guess not. No, I guess not. All right. All right, those are all loose now. And now the tubes are, for this are safely put away. You guys have seen me test those with the uh, test those with the uh, tube tester. Now I don't I don't know that I even have a, a assembly instructions for this, but I'm sure one can be found on the internet. Hopefully, I'll lay this over here like this. See if we can get this off a little easier. Let's see. I think these three things here are going to have to either come off or be loosened up sufficiently to allow for that to come off. And if we look down here. You can see they're held on here. Alright, those things have been removed. 
and hopefully those will come out but nope I don't see them coming out uh, that comes off that's one but see these are I'm not sure what's holding oh maybe they screw off hmm maybe not maybe those washers are like uh, maybe you have to hold it in place and then screw it off yeah, I think that's how it's working. Oh, you guys are not seeing nothing, are you? Get you up here so you can see all the action. Action, Jackson. Uh, let's see, now this one has a, a washer on the back side as well as one on the front side. Huh, that's unusual. I'm not sure why. But, you know, I'm sure there's a reason. Usually is. So let's uh, see if we can get this off now. Oh yeah, there you go. Again, that looks like it's in pretty darn good shape. Uh, that should uh, clean up really nice, I hope. So, we'll put that over out of the way. Uh, to you guys that uh, don't uh, buy into the wisdom of doing this, um, I, <laughs> I don't want to tell you. Um, I just, uh, like I've said before when I was doing the uh, I Am 13, I enjoy doing this. Uh, that's really why I do it. <laughs> Uh, there's not too many other reasons to do it, I don't think. Uh, let's see, these, these two right here, take this piece here off, so let's see if we can get that off without too much problem. <sighs> parts off here that uh, are in my way. <laughs> Everything's kind of in my way, you know. Um, not sure exactly how to uh, get those off. Take a couple of these to hold these washers back on there. I don't think that's the wrong one. Try this one. Yeah, that one will hold. We don't use those star washers. All right, that's that. All right, what else is next? We got a tube socket here. That's not going to be an easy job because this goblet is going to be wired in. Oops. Here's some more. All right. I'm trying to think. Now I can take the socket itself off, but all the wiring is going to have to come off with it. So, this piece here doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Let's see what it does on top. Okay, it holds that uh, terminal strip in there. See if I can get that out. Alright, there's another piece off. Um, I think this piece is going to need to be clipped out so that the rest of the wire can come through. This socket here is going to have to be clipped out so this can be pulled through. There's a, another screw there that I don't know exactly where it goes to, but I'm sure it goes somewhere. 